ultimately the biggest thing matters is to be able to get clients so this video would help you understand the you know the main three things that one should do in order to get clients now um this especially for rookies when you get started like you can get confused because there are like so many things out there and you would start worrying about you know how you're going to create the course how you're going to deliver the service and stuff like that but what i've learned from experience is that those things would hold you back from actually getting a client so you would create problems that non-existent right like why would you why would you care about or why would you even be like uh worried about how you're going to deliver when you when you don't even know how to get clients right like you don't have a client so you shouldn't worry about how to create content to deliver the service or stuff like that so if you have no clients like you should you have no business whatsoever thinking about how to create a content portal and stuff like that you should worry about those as soon as you land your first client okay now um if you are already like if you're already an established coach consultant service provider this would still be um very benef beneficial for you to watch so when it comes to client acquisition, there are still so much, so much stuff out there, like so much shit out there. Um, and everyone is claiming their methodology is the best. So uh, this is what I distilled, like these three points, what one needs to do in order to get clients. Super simple. If you're not focusing on, like if you're trying to get clients, but you're not focusing on one of these, then you're just doing it wrong. So the first one is really a offer. You have to have an irresistible offer. This would help you. This would make easy easy on you when you try to convert people, right? Because uh, you would have to do less selling because the offer would sell itself. Later, I will teach you how to do this. Um, it should be clear to the point, right? Your offer should be very clear, very to the point. Um, it should be specific, but it should, and what I learned, it should never be too specific because too specific never scales. If it's too specific, you're going to have problem as soon as you start outreaching to people if you can't find them online you're going to really struggle and if they're too specific maybe what you're going to find is you can't pay like you can't get paid traffic so you're going to be in the you're going to end up like just doing a lot of organic which there is nothing wrong with that uh, but just so you be aware like too specific never scans so i don't I, I don't actually advise our clients to uh to have too specific offers um or too specific niches and then what needs to happen is to tie it back to the ultimate desire right um what like people ultimately what we want is to is health wealth and relationships we either want to improve our health uh be it physical or mental uh we want to improve our uh wealth right we just make more money have a bigger impact and we want to uh improve our relationship or maybe something could be even with um like a deeper like a deeper sense of fulfillment or something like that but those are really the things um uh, and so when it comes to an acquisition system, there's a second one. Um, all needs to happen. I really simplify because there are like so much stuff out there, right? When it comes to acquisition systems, you know, different lead generation processes, organic, paid, funnels, ads, everything. So this is what it comes down to. Super simple. First one, you need to have, you need to prime your profile. So whatever you use, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, even if you use email, you have to have a good uh, signature in the email. You know what I mean? Like you, it should be primed because you're going to use that to reach out to people. You make sure you, you have to make sure you do your best for those people to have some kind of understanding of who you are when you reach out to them. Right. So I always uh, advise our clients to first start with Facebook and Instagram because that's pretty much just the easiest. Unless you have some hyper specific niche that you can find in LinkedIn. Uh, I would stay away from LinkedIn because a lot of people, or that's that's what I learned, is a lot of people are just trying to uh, network on LinkedIn. This being said, if you have a very specific niche and you know how to find them on LinkedIn, uh, do that. Like, that's going to help you. Um, and so why you want to prime your profile? Now, ultimately, this is one of the biggest mistakes I made in business. I never really primed my profile. And now I'm just learning that it's going to boost response rate like crazy, right? It's going to save me a lot of time. It's going to help me nurture people um, and help me convert people. And it builds a lot of trust. So that's the number one. That's, that's the first one. The second one is create educational content uh, and also content that, you know, keeping conversion in mind, right? So it's not enough to educate. You have to have content with call to action when you convert those people. Uh, to book in a call with you, uh, to take to take whatever action you want them to take. Ultimately, to book in a call with you, so you can uh, so you can sell them your services. Um, and then the third one is really just to be able to grab attention, to get attention and get traffic, right? So um, you prime your profile, you create content, but if you don't have attention or traffic, like you're not gonna you're not gonna get anywhere, right? So 
Um, how do you get attention? There are pretty much three ways. You can do outbound organic, you can do inbound organic, and you can run paid traffic. Now, most people don't know what is the difference between outbound and inbound organic. Outbound is when, is when you reach out to people and those people do not know you, right? They never engage with you. Inbound organic is when people reach out to you kind of and or they engage with you so they kind of know you. Um, so outbound organic is when you go out and you prospect people, meaning you go out and you look for your perfect uh, potential prospect, you connect with them and then you uh, and then you engage into uh, you know some kind of outreach process. Usually you just message those people um, to figure if they if they're if they have the problem and if they want that problem to be solved by an expert. Um, inbound organic is when you create content, those people engage with your content, and then you and then you do the outreach, right? So when you create content, they like, they comment on your post, and that's when you engage with those people, and or uh, in a better case, they engage with you, like people engaging with you. Uh, but that's that's crystal clear. I haven't even put that over here. That's also inbound organic. The third one is paid traffic. Like paid traffic means shout outs and ads. Simple as that. So you can either buy shout outs or ads. Or you can also like um, collaborate with someone else. But I would just put it put, put that into the category of shout outs because you're going to have because uh, you're going to have attention from another um, medium and you either pay pay for that with money or you, you do some kind of bar tell or whatever. And uh, so you, you, you get, you get paid traffic and then you put them in some kind of nurture system. There are like so many nurturing systems. You can, you can, you know, run shout outs on your Facebook and Instagram to get attention and then create content and engage and outreach. You can do ads like paid ads, Facebook, Google, run them on a funnel and nurture them with the funnel. You can also do ads into your fa uh, free Facebook group and nurture people inside a Facebook group. Um, and with that, that, that's just that, the Facebook group is just a funnel at the end of the day. Some people do ads to Facebook group to the funnel to uh, make them book in. Now, when you are getting started, what you have to keep in mind is the more sim the simple, the better, right? Like you just want to keep it simple. So this is where I would start outbound organic, inbound organic, and I would move into paid a bit later uh, when you feel like you've already getting clients from these two methods. Uh, and when you do paid, like the, the biggest thing I would tell to anyone is to first keep it simple. So probably the first thing you have to do is just shout out into your primed profile, right? And then just follow the organic, uh, the organic methodologies. And then once you, once you see shout outs are working, maybe you can do shout outs to offer some free stuff and then put them in a Facebook group and or run some ads on a simple funnel or run some ads on a Facebook group. But that's just about it. And the last one is conversion sales, if you like. Um, and so there are, sales is not like it is, it is difficult. It is complex, but at the same time, it's super simple. Like people make it super complicated. Uh, but what it comes down to is four main things, right? You have to be able to listen. This is how the call starts. If you cannot listen to those people, you would never be able to sell them anything, right? So you should be able to listen to them uh, and figure out what's their current state. Yeah, like ask smart questions and then listen to their answers. Write it down. What is their current state? What is their desired state? What are the roadblocks that's keeping them from getting to their uh, desired state, right? Once you have this one, you have to diagnose the problem like a doctor. So you have to tell them... Um, you have to tell them what, what are they dealing with, like based on these roadblocks, like what are they dealing with and like, how can you help them? And then once you have this part, you present, like you, you just diagnose, you tell them what's the problem, but you don't solve that problem. Right. And then you ask if they want help. Right. And then you can, if they give you permission, then you can present the solution as the cure for the diagnosis to their roadblocks. Right. So you're just going to present this. And then you have to be able to collect the money on the call. This is the biggest one. Like most people just don't know how to collect money on the call. So they do all these, they do a lot of free coaching and people just walk away from the calls. So this is something I'm going to really um, triple down on to teach you how to collect money on the call because you don't want people to, you know, to waste a lot of time and then they say yes. And then they, you know, and then they, cause it's easier for them not to take action at the end of the day. So they just want to like leave the call and say, promise you everything. Like, yeah, I'm going to pay it. I'm going to this or that. But then essentially they're not going to do that. And you just keep following up with these people. 
So simple as that. These are the three main things you should uh, focus on.